everybody, and welcome to Storytime with the Children's Museum of Atlanta, hashtag CMA at home. My name is Savannah, and this is Fern. Fern is a possum, and like all wild animals, possums should be left alone. But many people think that possums are scary, and they have a really hard time finding the good in possums at all. But I'm here to tell you that possums do help us. Fern here eats all sorts of pests that we don't want around, like ticks. Oh, she liked that. <laughs> she's also really shy, so she only comes out at night. And she's not very likely to carry any diseases that could make you sick, like rabies. Plus, look how cute she is. <laughs> she carries her babies around in a pouch, and she can even hang upside down by her tail. Remember, just because a creature may seem scary or different, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad. Today, we're gonna read a book about another terrific animal that may seem a little bit scary at first. We're gonna learn about Stella Luna, a fruit bat. Stella Luna, written and illustrated by Janelle Cannon. In a warm and sultry forest far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how the mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. One night, as mother bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape, but the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster into the forest below. Flump! Stella Luna landed head first in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh! Here comes Mama! hissed Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things that Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing. Except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek! she cried. Get back up here this instant. You're going to fall and break your necks. All the babies grew up quickly. Soon, the nest became overcrowded. Mama Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. Pip, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same. Ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> Oops. Ooh. How embarrassing. I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. 
then no one will see how clumsy I am. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We had better go home or we'll be lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promised not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep. She didn't hear the sound of wings coming near. Bats gathered around to see this strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate b bugs, stuttered one. You slept at night, gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait, let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you? She asked, sniffing Stella Luna's fur. She whispered, You are Stella Luna. You are my baby. Mother Bat wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Come with me and I will show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug for as long as you live. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in darkness. Come with us. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, uh, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter, and Flap leaped from the tree to follow her. I can't see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. Ah! shrieked Flap. They're going to crash, gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree. We're safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. I wish you could see in the dark too. How can we be so different and feel so much alike? mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different and be so much alike? wondered Pip. I think it's quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna, but we're friends now and that's a fact. The end. And that was Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. Thanks for joining us for story time. Say goodbye, Fern. Bye-bye.